Welcome to Woodacres Homestead. Today I'm going to take you on a tour around the property, show you what we have going on here, and hopefully answer some of the questions the new viewers have. <laughs> so my name's Cody, we're in the beautiful state of Pennsylvania, and it's the beginning of April right now. I just got home from work and it's time to go open the gates and let the birds out, the free range. And of course we have Echo Pup with me. This is my half Dutch Shepherd, half Belgian Malinois. He's a good pup and he's going on six years old now. He's not a strict livestock guardian dog, but he is really good with all the animals. Hey, Sammy. Hey, ladies. Mumbles, get your ducks together, girl. So out here right now, we only have one goose, and that is Mumbles. She's out there with 25 ducks, actually 24 ducks, and one is a drake, and that is Duke Silver, the one male in the whole flock. Down here, <laughs> hey, Sammy. Down here in front of me, we have the ladies that are all the egg layers here. You can see some of them have some bare backs. That means we have some roosters in the flock, huh, Sammy? We actually have three roosters in the flock. Sammy right here is a salmon falvera. boy. And over here we have Rufio, the Americana rooster. And right now we have 41 chickens up here at the barn. Ladies, you ready to come on out? I just got home from work, so it's time to open up the gates. I'm gonna start with the duck gate over here. We have a chicken gate and we have a duck gate. Come on, ducks. Come here, Pop, don't split the ducks. Come on, Mumbles. Come on, Rita. Well, we got some stragglers back there. Come on, everybody. Get together. Go ahead, Mumbles. Home free. Come on, girl. Get out there. Head down to the field pond. So at this point in making this video, I've only been homesteading for three years now. I'm actually going into my third season right now. So only going into my third year of homesteading, there still is a lot of things I'm working on, getting things prepared out here the way I want them. Right now the birds get the free range out here and they do have the field pond to go into. This is a work in progress. I'm trying to make it bigger. This is a natural pond, so it's just a hole dug out in the field here and it filled up naturally with the water level that's in the ground. So it's not spring fed, so it doesn't get a lot of fresh water flowing through it. So the ducks can soil it if we don't get a lot of rain but we got some rain last hey sammy but we got some rain last night and we're supposed to get a lot more going into tomorrow but since we have a lot of clay out here the water sits in the field and the ducks love puddling through it And with this amount of rain, there's a lot of worms coming up to the soil, so the chickens are pretty happy with the field too. Oh well, ladies, you're loving the puddles too. We got a lot of rain, it's bringing the worms up. So I'm sure as I show you what I have going on here, you're gonna see a lot of ways to improve the system and just know I'm working on it, but it's just me here working on this homestead, so it takes time. Now, if you've been following along, you know we've been expanding the areas here that have fenced in for the animals, getting them more and more space. When I started out here, all we had was the barn. We had no fencing at all around it. I started with these front two pens that we have on both sides here with the alleyway in the middle going into the door. The roosters are just going off right now. We're getting all three of them going back and forth. Good job, Rufio. So I do live here with my parents. This is my family home where I grew up. I have three brothers, but I live here with just my parents right now. But it's mainly just me here that wants to take care of all the animals and have the homestead going. So I ended up really getting into wanting to know where my food came from. So that's kind of what started me homesteading. It actually started me gardening. If you want to see any of my gardening and my ponds and aquatics, that's going to be on my other channel, Wood Acres Nature at Home. You can check that out in the description. This channel is all for the homesteading, which is where I'm raising up all my animals. Some are for food and some are for breeding and eggs. Huh, Pop? I didn't open the gate. Hold on, bud. We gotta open this gate too, so everybody can make our way around. There you go, bud. This is the gate the chickens use when they go over to the compost. And yesterday before all the rain came, I got the backhoe out and I moved some stuff up here to the barn, but I also got the compost pile all piled up. Dizzy, what's going on over here, girl? You got your kids? Everybody doing okay, huh, girl? You wanna get out of here, don't you? My Dizzy. 
Yeah, you sweet thing. This is Dizzy. She's the first mother hen that we ever had on the homestead. She sat on some eggs and she hashed out two little babies back there. Well, big babies now. So I've been really holding out hope for a long time, wishing we were going to get two girls. But by the looks of it, we have two boys, which is just no good for the homestead. So there's a lot of different ways you can have a homestead. It's really not just one way for everybody. For me, I want to raise up my own food here and be as self-sustaining as I can on the property. A lot of people can make a house into a home, but to really make a home into a homestead, you have to go outside and use the land. Now, I don't have a lot of land here. I only have four acres that I'm working with. I have a lot of corn field around me but that's not mine the main area that i use for the homestead itself with raising all the animals not really the gardens just the animals is probably under two acres that's the biggest problem with the area that i'm in it's a beautiful place here in pennsylvania but the land is really expensive so trying to get any amount of acres to raise some animals is really difficult so i'm trying to make do the best i can with the space that i have and i can't really allot all four acres to the animals so my first year having animals up here i was able to get these front pens in and a little bit after that i was able to get the duck pen here attached to the side this pen here is about 40 by 40. It has the duck array, it has a duck house, and it has a splash pad. The triangle duck house here is a 4 by 8 floor plan with a window up there. It did really well for whenever I had just one flock of ducks, but once I got the second flock, they don't fit in there anymore. I had to do a lot of shuffling around last year trying to house all those ducks. You can go back to those videos and see what was going on. But this year I'm building a new duck stall inside the top of the barn, so I'm going to have to make an access door up there by that gate, but I haven't got there yet. We're doing a lot of projects right now, so they're all open-ended. The splash pad here is where I keep the duck pools, obviously. This is keeping them up out of the mud. The pools are all filthy right now because it's the afternoon. I just let them out to the pond so they can go down there for water. They won't be back to these swimming pools today. So I'll get these turned over and get them all freshened up, and they won't use them until the morning. But that gravel splash pad actually worked really well. It's been keeping them out of the mud, and it's actually saved the grass from retreating. The muddy area by the pools was just getting bigger and bigger until I was able to get all that gravel in there to start soaking it up. And we're just coming into spring here, so hopefully we'll be getting some grass growth here soon. Now as we look up, you can see what I have in here is the duck array. Now this is all string that's attached to a single point up there in the A-frame of the barn. And then the strings come down and they attach to eyelets at each post, creating a full array going across. So the purpose for the duck array is to break up the eye line of the hawks. Whenever a hawk is flying over and it sees all those lines there above the ducks, it doesn't see a clear access to dive bomb them. At least that was the plan, and so far it's been working out. I haven't had any hawk attacks inside the pen here. And we definitely have hawks flying over. Echo is really good at seeing the birds and running them off. So if you have a hawk problem and you have a setup to where this might work, or you just can do something to break up their eye line above the pen, that might be enough to keep hawks from flying down. What are you doing, pup? What are you doing? You want that moved? There you go. Yeah, whenever I put the pigs in this pen last year, they dug a hole over to the duck pen, didn't they? Yeah. I do have a plan this year to reinforce this pen so I can keep the pigs outside a little bit, but it's gonna take some pretty solid reinforcing to keep the pigs in. And the pigs that I had over the last two years, both sets of them escaped. So I'd like to keep them in this year. I don't have a big barn in here, but I'm doing the best I can with what I have. To the left here, we have the duck pen right now, but this is actually gonna be the pig pen. What is that? Mumbles laid an egg. Mumbles laid a late egg. Wow. Awesome puppy. Oh, and another late duck egg. I usually collect duck eggs in the morning, but some of them don't get them out in time. Nothing in there. They like to lay in corners. Oh, huh, ladies, what do you think, muffins, chicken, bonbon, Regina, dot, dot, dot. Hey, green queen. The buckets are empty right now, but I do have rain harvest right here. We have 65 gallons on the inside, and then this is actually hooked up to two tanks on the back side of the barn. I need to fill these up right now. I try to keep four buckets full right here just for quick access. Huh, Pop? You don't have anywhere to drink right now. I'm filling up the buckets. Hold on. There you go, buddy. What are you doing? Who's singing? Green Queen. Chicken. Dalmatian, is that you? Dalmatian singing. Little Roe, did Sus take your box? Little Roe's my broody girl right now, but Sus is sitting on her nest. Girls, behave. I do have a float valve attached to this, but sometimes it gets clogged up from the rain. So I'm gonna have to check on that and make sure it shuts off. What's going on out here, ladies? You singing? You all singing together? Still have Rufio over there trying to court Dizzy.
What is that noise? What's happening? Aw, oh, Lil Ro, you're waiting to get to your nest. Lil Ro has been broody and moody for a couple weeks now, so she really wants to get back on her eggs. She's a red-shouldered Yokohama, one of my smallest chickens. She was actually ordered to be a male rooster, but she came as a hen. So she's not very big, but she's trying to sit on a lot of eggs. What are you singing about, Green Queen? Did you lay something? Is that is one of those yours? If it is, good job. Up, up. Yeah? Good boy. So I actually ran out of feed completely today, so I picked some up. I gotta bring it out here. Hold on, pup. We gotta get the feed first. Then we'll go back and see all the other birds. We are working on a new summer chicken run over here. I have all the posts in and I picked up the fence roll, so I just have to get it all attached. But other things have come up and I haven't finished this yet, so I'll bring you along whenever we get back to it. It's much too muddy out here after the rain that we got last night, so I can't drive out here with a feed, so I just dropped it off over here next to the driveway on a wagon. The nectarine's looking beautiful right now. Remember, all the gardening is on my other channel, Wit Acres Nature at Home. I just got two bags of each right now. I got some layer pellet and I got some duck and goose pellet. Ugh. I'm pretty low tech here. It's a small homestead, so I just have a wagon. Of course, we have the backhoe over there for bigger jobs, but like I said, it's too wet here for the truck, so it's definitely too wet for that. Oh, Pop, not you. You're an all-terrain pup, aren't you? And one thing I love about having the animals is having them all across the field. I love seeing a field full of animals. Coming in, ladies. Coming in, Regina. Gina. Dalmatian. Snowball. Coming in. Hey, Dot. How you doing, girl? Muffins. Chicken. Dot. How you doing? In we go. Oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Okay, we made it. Oh, we have an egg on the ground. That looks like a Dalmatian egg. Oh, it's broken, too. They must have dropped it. They sometimes sleep on the hay bales here, so it might have fell off from there, and they also sleep on this gate when it's shut, so that could have happened last night. Echo Pup, clean up. There you go, bud. Help me out, buddy. Food. Let me help you, bud. You got it in a corner. There you go. Echo Pup's a good boy. He'll share with the chickens. <laughs> Maybe Echo Pup won't share with the chickens, huh, bud? You be nice. They shared the egg with you. You could share back with them, buddy. So I've typically been using this barrel for all the bird feed, but it only holds about two and a half bags. So I think we're gonna switch to the feed bin. I typically keep the uh, extra feed in here, and whenever we have the pigs, I fill this one up with the pig feed and then keep the extra over here. But this year we have a lot of adult birds, so I'm gonna be keeping the bird feed in here so I can mix it all up together easily, and then I can keep the pig feed in here. And that'll allow me to store a lot more in here at one time. And that's why I got four bags this time instead of two. Now pop. But I'm also going to be mixing oats into the feed and also scratch grain. So I'm going to get these all dumped in so I can get the birds lunch and then we'll go up behind the barn and see the rest of the animals. And make sure to comment your favorite bird down below. Coming out, ladies, coming out. I got a treat for you. 
There you go. Scratch up the grass here, or the ground, no grass. Good, get some. That way I'm not stepping on you in here. Go on out, Anna and Dot. Get this wagon out of here now. Oh, Pop. Yeah, yeah, buddy. All right, the water's filling up right there. It's almost at the top. We have a full bin of feed here. That's 260 pounds of feed for the birds. And that's just for all the ducks, all the chickens, and Mumbles the goose. And you might be thinking, what else is there? Well, well I'm going to show you. Hold on, the birds can't eat the food unless I get it out. There you go, ladies. I forgot to hit the record button. Go ahead, eat your fill. And the ducks. I'm coming, pup. There you go. Food for everybody. And I'm gonna take a scoop up for Bert and the snowballs. I said we have 41 chickens, but you didn't quite meet them all yet. Bert, what are you doing out here, bud? You hungry? I brought you and your snowballs some food, buddy. Coming in, ladies. Hope you're decent. Coming in, coming in. I got you something to eat. Oh, you're on the last of your feed. Just in time, huh? How you ladies like your wood chips? What do you think, Bert? You find them any bugs in there? It's a lot better than just the hay, huh? So we have Bert and six white Brahmas out here in what we've dubbed the Love Shack. And that's because I'm planning on getting some pure light Brahma eggs. I don't want them mixed in with Sammy and Rufio. I'm hoping we can just get pure eggs here from Bert and the Snowballs. Oh, Pup, what do you think? Nah, we don't need you to go in there. Nah. But I'm hoping to get some pure breed light Brahma eggs. And you have to keep them all together for three weeks to make sure that the other roosters don't have any influence on the gene and the egg. After three weeks, we should be pretty certain that Bert's the only influence on the Snowballs. So all the animals on the homestead are not pets. They have jobs to do. Some are egg layers, some are breeders, and some are raised for meat. I only raise out the meat animals during the warmer months, so we don't have any of them right now. But we will be raising some meat chickens here, some meat turkey, some pigs, and some goats. The first round of meat chickens are gonna be coming here in just over a week. Huh, oh, Pop, we're excited. Hey, Jim. Hey, Pam. How you guys doing in here, bud? I gave Jim a little boost to get up to the nesting box where Pam's been broody. You leave her alone, Pop. How you doing, Jim? You like your booster? You have been using it? Why do you keep stepping in the water, buddy? You don't have to hang out beside Echo Pop. Pam, how you been doing, girl? You still hissing and broody? Yeah, look at you puffing up, girl. What are you doing, Pop? Has there been a mouse in here? You're sniffing so aggressively when you come in here. Jim right now has a slip tendon on his left leg. I've been doing everything I can to try and help him out with that. We don't have a bird vet in my area, so I'm doing everything I can. I've been trying out different wraps and everything, but we're still working on Jim. He's been holding out great, actually let me work with him really well. He's been a really calm turkey, so I really want to get him nice and healthy so we can keep him around here. And he's been just great with Pam too. He actually gets up into the box and sits with her sometimes. I'm not sure she's really happy about that, but he likes getting up there with her, so I gave him a little booster just so he doesn't have to jump as high. But we have Jim and Pam up here in what I call the turkey hut. I also built this hut, so I have videos on the whole process of building this. It's all out of scrap materials and free pallets that I was able to source. I got a window out of a house renovation I was able to use. We have natural wood branches across here for the jungle gym perches I have for them. An old gutter down here for the feeder. We just have a regular rubber bowl for the waterer right now. I am going to be hooking this up to rainwater and getting a float valve on that so I don't have any uh, water chores up here. And an old one gallon fish bowl here just for their calcium. And the shelf for the up here made out of some scrap materials and old stuff I was able to get from my grandma's farm. Whenever I need to build something, I always look around the property and try and do it with something that I already have. Even if it's not perfect, I like to build it with things that I already have available to me that my dad's been saving over the years or that I've been able to get from my grandparents' farms. What's going on out here? Puppy, why'd you let all the chickens into the turkey pen? Puppy, I'm trying to grow the grass out here for the turkey. So whenever Jim's all healed up and uh, Pam's done being broody, they can come out here some fresh forage. I'll let you rest, Jim. You stay with Pam. Ladies, you gotta get on going. Come on, everybody out of the turkey pen. You can be outside the turkey pen, but I don't want you in here. Uh-uh, move on, move on. Nope, nope, I don't want you guys used to being in this pen. This is for the turkey. Gotta keep you separated. Come on, chicken. Bonnie, Gina, let's go. Ow, something's in my boot. Come on. Come on, ladies, out the gate. Come on. Here we go, here we go. Out the gate, same way you came in. That a girl. Go on. Gina, Bonnie, Bon Bon, and Chicken. A pop. So the turkey hut and pen here is just one pen that I built. Right beside it, we have the goat hut and pen. This is going to be used here soon, but I just got the news that we aren't going to be getting the goats for another month. 
So the guy I get my goats off of, he breeds them and sells them as show goats. He actually sold every goat in his batch this time as a show goat. I get the ones that are left over usually because I'm just going to raise them up as meat goats. They don't have to be perfect. And since he didn't have any left over from this batch, I have to wait until next batch, which is going to take another month. But they should be even smaller than they were going to be if I got them this month. So that'll be cool. Oh, ladies, you working on the compost? Sedgwick, Sus, Lucy, <laughs> Dot, Muffins, you all working? Hey Anna, Dot, Sammy. Keep them tight, Sammy. If you're wondering why Dizzy and the kids aren't out with the rest of the flock, it's because I wanted to wait until I knew if these were boys or girls because I don't need any more roosters running around in the flock. And I'm fairly certain that these two are roosters now, so I'm probably gonna let Dizzy out so she can run around with the flock, but the other two are gonna have to stay in there. And since I don't want any more roosters in the flock, you can see how much damage to the hens that my three roosters do already. They already have some bald spots across them. So I will put up a local listing, trying to find a good home for them where someone's not gonna have them for meat, because if they're just gonna raise them out for meat, I might as well keep them myself. So I got feed in the troughs, I got clean water in the pools. The gates are open and the birds are out free ranging right now. It's a beautiful day, actually. Huh, pop. We have Rufio way down in the vegetable garden doing his crow. And we have all the ducks out enjoying the pond and the puddles. And Mumbles is actually taking a nap right there. A oh, cute little goose, huh puppy? So a quick little recap here. My name's Cody. We have Echo Pup behind me. I'm coming into my third year homesteading. I'm doing this on my family home at my parents' house where I actually grew up. I'm working on expanding the areas that I have for the animals every year. And right now we're working on another expansion coming down this line. I have posts all in the ground and I have fence ready to go. We just did a couple videos on this one. I'm not quite done yet. So we have at least another video before I can get the chickens into here. Right now they like to come down into my food forest where I have all my berries and my fruit trees. And I need to kick them out because in the summer I really like to have nice gardens. So there's all of that. We also have these bird boxes like Dizzy and the kids are in. This is actually kind of the meat wagon that we put the meat flock in and take them across the pasture on fresh grass. Hey Sammy. I also have what I call the bird box over here in the corner. This is what I mainly raised up the second duck flock in. This is actually one of the better boxes that I built. I have videos on all the boxes. And before Dizzy and the kids moved up here into the meat wagon, they were actually down in Squats Run, which is a smaller little cage that I have for intermediate raising up the birds. And if you're interested in anything here on the homestead, make sure you subscribe down below and then comment your question because I answer subscribers first. But remember, I started this channel the same time I started homesteading, even before I got any animals. So you can go back all the way to the beginning and watch all the videos so you can get caught up to everything that was happening here at Wood Acres. I mentioned the rain harvest system, but this is what I have going on right now. We have the gutter coming off the back and the front all piped down to this one tank here. And then I have this tank hooked to the second tank so I can hold double the capacity. Right now we're sitting just over 125 gallons or 500 liters and that's going to transfer between both tanks. So between the two it's 1,000 liters or just under 250 gallons and then this next hose goes straight into the barn down to the 65 gallon tank that we saw earlier. Now before it rained and got all muddy up here I did bring up the backhoe with a bucket load of stone plus this water tank to try and set a third one in here. No oh, puppy. I didn't get this one hooked up yet because I don't have the right fittings, but I wanted to get it up here and in place with the backhoe because I can't bring the backhoe up here anymore after it rained. We're supposed to get a lot of rain over these next couple days, so I wanted to try and capture as much of it as I could. But I know that rain harvest system needs a whole overhaul, and I want to try and do that this year. Uh-oh, chickens. The ducks are going in the food forest. <laughs> He's singing. The mockingbirds have been out singing songs all week long. I hear you, girl. I am planning on doing some homestead updates at the beginning of each month, just making a note of where I am in the year. What are you all doing by the gate, ladies? You're just all piling up. Just a big pile of feathers, huh? Huh, Pop, you just watching over all your birds? Good boy. Rufio, you can't wait for Dizzy to get out, huh? You're ready for your date. Date night, Dizzy? But all right, I think that's going to be all for this one. I tried to answer as many of the questions that I've been getting as I could. If you have any more questions, like I said, make sure to subscribe down below and then comment because I always answer subscribers first. If you liked the video, make sure to hit that like button before you leave. If you want to help support the channel even more, check out that join button and you can see me and Echo on the next one. Thanks for watching.